Hi Libra, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for the 18th through the 24th of July, 2021. Hope you guys are doing great. I want to take a second and remind you that this is a general reading and therefore it's not going to resonate with everyone. If you find it's not resonating with you, I encourage you to check your other signs and placements and see if those readings might resonate a little bit better. Also, keep in mind that in a general reading, the energies can reverse or flip-flop. Um, that's not at all unusual, and timelines can vary. If you'd like a personal reading, there are directions in the box beneath the video, and I'll be happy to set that up for you. All right, let's get started, Libra. Spirit, can I have the energy of Libra, please? Libra. All right, so Libra, we start out with the Six of Swords in the reverse. You have the Four of Cups. And you have the Seven of Rods. Okay, so Libra, I feel like there's a missed opportunity here. There's, um, it's a feeling as if, um, there's something here that you've been given an opportunity for, but you're sleeping on it. There, you're you're not um, you're not recognizing it, and instead you're focusing on something that's been lost. Um, that being said, there's a sense of being stuck. There's a sense of not being able to move forward, um, even though there's a desire to. You're you're desiring to move forward away from something that feels troubled, away from something that feels chaotic, into something more peaceful. But because you, you're you you're not recognizing this, it's a missed opportunity of some sort. You're not recognizing it. It's because you're standing your ground about something. You're, you're in a defensive posture. You're standing your ground here. And it's causing you to miss an opportunity. Um, and that's what's leading you to be stuck. So let's see who you are connecting with here. Spirit, who is Libra connecting with? Who is Libra connecting with? No? Okay. Who is Libra connecting with? Okay, so the person you're connecting with, we have the King of Cups in the reverse. Could be a water sign. That would be a Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. Doesn't have to be. They could have water in their chart, um, but they don't necessarily have to. Um, we have the Five of Swords, and we have the High Priestess. Okay, so the person you're connecting with, I do feel like there is a conflict with this person. Um, now the person you're connecting with, the, the conflict that they're involved with here, um, there's a sense of them feeling that they have to win this, this conflict. Um, there's also a sense that this person has really shut their heart down. There's love here. There's definitely love, but they've they've kind of closed their heart off they're they're withholding their emotions they're they're shut down emotionally and there's a sense here of needing to win this conflict at all cost um with the high priestess i also feel that this person is um they're they're relying on spirit there's a, a sense of a spirituality that's present here um there's a this person could be highly intuitive. Um, I'm really surprised I didn't see the Queen of Cups come out instead. But then that would have been in the upright, so that makes sense. Um, this person looks like they are very highly intuitive. You may be dealing with somebody who um, is a um, psychic, a card reader, or just somebody who is naturally very, very um, tapped in spiritually. So, but this person, you're in a conflict with them, and they do feel that they have to win this, this you know, conflict for some reason. Um, let's see what the energy of the connection is. That makes sense as to why you're, you're defensive here as well. 
Um, what is the energy of this connection, please? The Ace of Swords reversed. So you're not communicating. And for those of you that are, there's no truthful communication. I feel like most of you are not communicating, though. Okay. Um, what is directly affecting this connection? Oh. Spirit said, for some of you, there's a lie between you. Oh, there's a sense of betrayal. Yeah, so the Ten of Swords... Um, there's a sense of betrayal that's directly affecting the connection. Um, and tens are all about completion. So whatever this cycle is, it is coming to an end. What is the, um, what is the outcome at the end of the week? The Page of Wands reversed. So still not talking. Um, yeah, I'm getting a lot of signs of not talking. So I don't see communication at the end of the week. Um, underlying energy, we have the three of coins in the reverse. So the underlying energy indicates to me that there's a lack of cooperation. Um, you know, basically, the two of you are just not working with each other. There's no communication here. It's, it's, it seems like a standoff. Okay, so let's clarify. Um, why is the Six of Swords here for Libra? Why is the Six of Swords here? Alright, so we have the Moon in Reverse. And we have the Four of Swords reversed. So I do think you're trying to heal your energy, Libra. Um, and I think also you, you've realized that um, communication is necessary for you to move forward. So I, I feel as if there's some unfinished business and you've realized that you, you need to, in order to move forward here, you need to communicate. Um, why is the Four of Cups here? Why is the Four of Cups here? King of Cups. And the three of coins. Okay, so repeating cards. All right, so we here we have the king of cups in reverse. Over here we have the three of cups, or the three of coins in reverse. So that's what you're missing here. Um, so you're missing, yeah, you're missing this spirit of love and cooperativeness. Yeah, I, I get it. Okay, so, so Libra, you have love for this person as well, but you're you're missing what you're missing here. What you this missed opportunity? It's it's the love and it's the cooperativeness. There was a genuine connection here. There was a friendship and there was a um there was a a genuine connection, and so that's what if this continues. It, it, it's going to be a missed opportunity for you. There's a genuineness about this that it, it's being cast aside. It's being, um, it's not being, um, it's not being recognized or, or honored. And instead, what I'm seeing you do is, um, Libra, you're looking at the things that have been lost instead. So, let's see why we have the Seven of Rods. Why is the Seven of Rods here? Okay. All right. So, there was a tower moment. So, something happened. Something happened that just basically dropped down all of the um, stability in this connection. It just tore it down. But keep in mind, Libra, that when when the tower happens, it's because, you know, there was a lack of a firm foundation. And so the tower comes to kind of wipe that away so it can be built on a firm foundation. Um, I see you standing your ground after that. We also have the Knight of Cups in reverse. 
So you're kind of holding back emotionally as well. So there's a lot of mirroring that's going on here. So you're holding back, you're being defensive, um, and it's you're trying to kind of regather yourself after this tower moment has happened. Um, you're doing this in order to try to pick up the pieces, but in reality, so while you're doing that, in reality, you're missing an opportunity here, and that opportunity is for great love, cooperativeness, a a firm foundation to build upon. That's what's being um, that's what's being given away while you're looking at all these losses. Um, with the with the uh, six of swords in the reverse, that's stuck energy. So at least you're realizing that in order to move forward, there does need to be some communication here. Um, but yeah, so you're you're very firm and <laughs> you both are sharing that same kind of energy because that's what I'm seeing here with this five of swords. So you're determined you're going to win this too. You're you're dug in, and so are they. Um, so let's look at their energy. Why is the King of Cups here in reverse? All right, so we have the Four of Rods. There's the conflict. And the Five of Swords. Yeah, for this person, Libra, this conflict was huge. This was huge. And what I'm seeing, Libra, is that they felt that this conflict could have gone in a different direction. So the Five of Rods, the difference between the Five of Rods and the Five of Swords is that the Five of Rods is a conflict where you can overcome the, there's conflict, but you overcome it and something is learned and then you move forward, both parties having learned something. The Five of Swords conflict is a conflict where somebody is gonna win no matter what and they don't care who gets hurt in the process. And so in this conflict that occurred between the two of you, there was a choice. And so what I'm seeing is that this person that you're connected with feels as if the choice was made for it to be a destructive type of conflict. And that's why they have removed their emotions. That's why they feel that they they had to shut their heart down. Um, why is the Five of Swords here for this person? Okay, so Nine of Cups and the Chariot. Okay, so so there's in their in their view this conflict is ongoing. They don't feel that the conflict is over. Um, yeah, they feel like this conflict is still continuing, and I also think that they feel that in order to to have their needs met, that they're going to have to move forward. In order to be successful and to, to you know, get what it is that they want, they have to move forward. Um, why is the High Priestess here? Okay, so we have the Ten of Rods and the Queen of Wands. Reversed, both reversed. Okay, and so they're using their intuition. Um, they may be seeking spiritual um, advice as well, but I really feel that this person is highly intuitive. And so they feel as if the best course of action is no action. That to do anything further would cause problems, and so they're opting to do nothing. They're opting to take no action. They're not speaking. They're not doing anything because they feel like it will cause more conflict, more problems. Um, why is the Ace of Swords here? 
Here's the Ace of Swords here in reverse. Page of Pentacles and Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Okay, so <laughs> neither of you are, are really speaking. And what are you not speaking about? Well, you're not speaking about the possibilities that could be here. So um, I feel like you would like to speak to this person. I feel like, Libra, you want to talk to this person. And they want to have a new start with you. So, but neither of you are, neither of you are doing so. Neither of you are taking action on that. Um, why is the Ten of Swords here? Why is the Ten of Swords here? Ten of Swords here. All right, so we have Judgment and we have the King of Pentacles reverse. Okay, so what's directly affecting the connection is a sense of betrayal. Um, so even though there's betrayal, Libra, you still want to bring this back together. You're wanting to to have a reconciliation with this person. Um, but the person you're connecting with here is looking at this as a loss. They're looking at it as if you are disloyal. So I feel like um, the person you're connected with feels a deeper sense of betrayal, although I think both of you are feeling betrayed. But I, I can tell you now, the person that you are connected with, they're feeling, they're feeling as if you have been disloyal. Um, and I don't think that they're willing to let it go. Um, let's get, whereas I see you would be willing to let it go, but I don't see you doing that. I see you still withholding. So I, it's like your actions and your feelings are at odds with each other. Um, let me see three for the outcome. Okay, so in the outcome, um, at the end of the week, I don't see communication because we have the page of wands in the reverse, but what I am seeing is that there will be success in the connection because um, we have the six of wands. So there is going to be success, mutual success in the connection. Um, you're showing the king of swords so i do feel like you are going to step into your power and that's what's going to bring success um for the other person they're they're going to find that they're going to be unable to walk away so and and success will come to them because of that so long and short of it libra there was a awful kind of conflict here that conflict could have gone in a more constructive manner it didn't and as a result both parties felt betrayed now and then there's no communication so and it looks very abrupt so what what's taking place is that you've pulled back you're very defensive you you're trying to gather yourself after it was a tower moment for you and I think you realize that there needs to be communication here, but what you may not be realizing is that this is going to be a missed opportunity. And what are you going to miss? Well, you're going to miss a you're going to miss a lot of love. There's a deep connection here, and there's a cooperative. Like there's a deep friendship as well as love here as well. This person, I feel like they are in the mode of of moving forward they feel as if they have no option but to move forward and their intuition is telling them that they should not take action 
because it's going to lead to more problems. Both parties want both parties want a new beginning. Um, but Libra, this person feels that you are disloyal to them. And so I don't see any communication by the end of the week. Um, but I do see that it will wind up with success. That success is going to happen once you step into your power. Um, and I, I don't think that this person will be able to walk away even though they're trying to. The bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Swords in the reverse, which tells me that a very painful experience is going to end and there is going to be healing. So... Yeah, I don't know what happened here, but there was something um, really big that that really crushed you both. Um, if you would, Libra, go ahead and get a direct question. I am going to pull from the angel answers and see if I can give you a direct answer. All right, here we go. Pulling for Libra. One more. Pulling for Libra. Pulling for Libra. No? Okay. All right, then. Well, that's vague. <laughs> All right, so the answer to your question is ask your angels. So you're being guided to seek, um, seek the um, assistance, I guess, of your angels. Remember, angels cannot assist you if you do not ask. Um, we have free will, and without your direct um, askance, they cannot come in and provide intervention. So you're being guided here to ask your angels. All right, Libra, I hope this has been helpful for you. If you would, like and share the video. Um, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and drop me a comment. I do read them all. So until I see you next week, namaste.